is the season to be jolly. Don't we now our bright apparel? Join the ancient Yuletide carol. you've just seen are examples of packages that I have personally wrapped in the past. Every Christmas I like to switch up my theme and try something different and I get a lot of my ideas on Pinterest. So if you're interested in some unique gift wrapping ideas that's a great place to start. If you would like to know how I wrap some of the gifts that you've already seen just stay tuned and I'll give you a list of what you will need to complete them. For the Santa suit wrapping, you are going to need some plain red wrapping paper, some gold glitter tape or adhesive paper, some black duct tape, and some faux fur fabric in white. Uh, what you're going to do is cut your red wrapping paper to size for your package, and you're going to wrap it just like you would any other. After that, you're going to take a piece of black duct tape, you're going to wrap that around the package and cut it to size. You're going to cut your gold glitter tape in small pieces and create a square buckle out of that. And then you're going to adhere your faux fur to the top and you have a Santa suit, quick, easy, and so special. The next gift wrap is beautiful and classic, red on red. All you'll need for this is some red wrapping paper and some red ribbon. This paper was purchased at the Hallmark store and I fell in love with it because of its textured, glittery, baroque pattern. All you'll need to do is wrap your package and then create a bow. It's simple, it's easy, and it's very dramatic. I think this is beautiful and classic and I think anyone would love to receive this gift. If you'd like to switch it up a bit and change out the color schemes, you can do this with anything, but monochrome, color on color is the best. You can also do red paper paper with gold ribbon and that's also gorgeous. The next gift is a fun way to incorporate the mustache trend into your holiday gift wrap. This is really easy to do and all you need is some red wrapping paper, some black construction paper, and some tape. I actually drew my own stencil. I freehand drew the mustache which is why it looks a little bit uneven on each side but I was still happy with the way it turned out. If you don't want to draw this yourself you can probably find mustache stencils at Joanne etc or Michaels but again it was pretty easy. After you wrap your gift just tape your mustache on and you are ready ready to give this to anybody. This design is a fun way to incorporate some homemade gift wrap for kids. This was actually supposed to be a reindeer, but my reindeer ended up with a little bit of curly hair instead of antlers. All you need for this is some postal package paper, a red pom-pom, and a black Sharpie marker so you can draw on your face. Uh, it's really easy, just wrap your package in the postal paper and uh, hot glue or use regular glue uh, for the red pom-pom nose and then just get your black sharpie and put your drawing skills to good use and create a nice fun holiday face. To get full use out of the package paper that you purchased, you can carry it over into some of your fancier gift wrap as well. This was a wine bottle opener that I wrapped in the postal wrapping paper, and all I added was some purple glitter ribbon. I simply wrapped it, tied the ribbon around it, and I think it made a gorgeous gift. It was very sparkly underneath the Christmas tree with the lights hitting it, and the purple color is just so regal looking, and I really thought that it turned out well.
keeping with the brown paper theme, I came up with this next gift wrap inspiration uh, for one of my nieces, and I just used her initial as the focal point of the package. All you'll need for this is some postal wrapping paper, glitter ribbon, color of your choice, a foam letter, and some tape. I purchased this foam letter from Walmart, and I believe they have these all year round. It came with the glitter on it, they have different colors, and it was just really easy to work with. I wrapped the package, I secured some glitter ribbon around the center, and then I glued the initial to the center, and I think it turned out great, and she absolutely loved it. The inspiration for this next design came from wanting to find a new and unique way to present a gift card. All you'll need for this is a small holiday gift bag, a snowflake ornament, and some glitter ribbon. You'll take your gift card and place it inside the bag and then flatten it out. You'll secure the ornament to the bag with some tape and not glue. That way the person can remove it and put it on their Christmas tree if they would like to. Tie the whole thing up with some glitter ribbon, the color of your choice, and give it to the lucky person who I'm sure will be thrilled with the presentation as much as they are with the gift card. We're gonna get out the brown mailing paper again for this next design. All you need for this is some postal wrapping paper and some burlap ribbon. This particular ribbon I purchased at Walmart and I believe they sell this year round in the craft section. And so you just wrap your package in the brown paper, tie it up with the burlap ribbon. And on this package, I also included an EOS lip balm on the outside just for some added flair. I think this looks rustic, it's pretty, and it's just another way to utilize the brown paper that you purchased. Purchased. If you love the look of old-fashioned gift wrap, or if you just like the red and white stripes of a candy cane, then this gift wrap is for you. All I did was purchase some candy cane striped wrapping paper from Target and a spool of plain red ribbon. I wrapped the gift and then I secured the ribbon around it diagonally and I think this was such a clean and simple and again old-fashioned look for gift giving and I'll definitely be doing this one again in the future. I love my brown wrapping paper, so let's go back to that. We're going to wrap another gift card, very similar to the first one we did, except this time we're going to use our postal wrapping paper instead of a gift bag. You'll also need some glitter ribbon and a snowflake ornament. First you wrap your gift card in the paper, you attach your snowflake ornament to the paper, and again, use tape instead of glue so they can reuse the ornament, and tie the whole thing up with the candy of your choice with some glitter ribbon. This is so cute and another unique way to present a gift card. That actually concludes my first video on holiday gift wrap. I hope you enjoyed the designs and maybe took some inspiration so you can try a few of them out on your own this year. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you would like to see more like it. And as always, I hope you're having a wonderful evening and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.